Hello, my name is Jesse, and in today's tutorial, we're going to show you setting up macros in the cataloging module using the advanced editor in Koha. The first thing we'll want to do is we're going to want to log in to the staff client. Once we're logged into the staff client, we're going to click on cataloging. From here, you'll see three buttons, advanced editor, new record, and new from Z3950 server. Now, if you're not using the advanced editor yet, you can enable that through your system preferences. If you go into administration and then click on global system preferences, and then we scroll down to cataloging here on the left hand side, and then scroll down to the interface, you'll notice the last one here is the enabling of the advanced cataloging editor. So you'll want to make sure that that is set to enable. Now let's take a look at setting up your macros. Once you're in the advanced editor, you'll notice that the fourth tab in is macros. Macros are what allow you to quickly enter in a string of text. Now for those of you that may use OCLC connection, this is similar to text strings. For those of you that don't, we'll show you how simple it is to use. You'll see I have one set in here for 942 book. If I click on that, what that does is that will enter in the 942 subfield C and then book, which is one of my item types. So when I run that macro, it enables that field already in there so I don't have to type it in. This is a quick and easy way for um, repeated uh, fields that you want to add into um, into your records. Let's look at another one. You'll see another one that I have in here is the new um, 264C field with a copyright symbol. So what this allows me to do is enter in that 264 and the subfield C and then it shows me which indicator I need to add in. So what I can do is hit that run macro and you'll notice right here it enters that 264 with an indicator of 4 with a subfield C and then the copyright. So all I have to do is come in here and enter my date. So it's a really easy way to um, enter these in. So now let's create a new macro. Over here on the left hand side you'll see that we have a link that says new macro. The first thing it's going to do is ask me what's the name of this macro. So why don't we do um, our 3xx fields for RDA. Now that I have that listed over here, this allows me to come in and enter in my new macros. Now I can enter multiple lines. So for this one, we're going to enter in the 336, the 337, and the 338. So what this allows me to do is come in and enter those in. Now there's a fantastic wiki that's out there that has a good start to um, editors that other uh, librarians have entered macros for, so I'll share that with you in just a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste those in there. So here you can see I have the 336 subfield A for text, subfield B for text, and then subfield 2 for RDA content. Same thing for my 337. So now I have entered in my A subfield, my B subfield, and my 2 subfield. I'm going to do the same thing for the 338. Once I'm done, you can see over here on the right hand side that it is saved. So now I can come in here and I'm going to run that macro. Now you can see that that 336, 337, and 338 has been added in there. So it's very easy. Let's add one more just to practice. Again, we're going to click on that macros button. We're going to come over here to the left hand side and we're going to click on new macro. Again, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a name. So we're going to say 942, and why don't we do DVD for this one? So we did one already for book. Let's add one in for a DVD. So now that we have that 942 in, I'm going to come over here. We're going to enter 942 equals, and then we're going to put in our delimiter C, and then we're going to enter in DVD. Now DVD is the code for my item type. So if you're not sure what your code is, remember you can go into administration, 
click on item types and to make sure you use the code and not the description for that particular one. So now once we're done I can come over here again and say run that macro. Now you'll notice that my 942C was changed to a DVD. So these are just a few easy ways to set up the macros in your advanced editor if you're using that. I'm going to quickly share a uh, link with you. This is the wiki for the Koha Community Advanced Editor. Um, there's macros in here that have been shared with several librarians, so you can come in here and grab some of those if you'd like to use those. If you have any that you are using at your library and you'd like to share them, please add them to the Koha Wiki. My name is Jessie and this is a tutorial um, in production of Bywater Solutions. Please visit our YouTube channel or bywatersolutions.com for more videos.